Okay, so we determined that we have non-normality, so what do we do about it? And this video is going to show us how we treat non-normality. So we're going to use the transform compute variable in order to transform uh, the variable that we've been working with, which is our income 3. And we want to make sure that that is normally distributed. So we're going to make a new variable called our income 4. And what we're going to do is use a mathematical function, which is the square root. All right, so we're going to come over here and click arithmetic. And there's the square root. And if we double click that, uh, this comes in. And now we just need to move that variable to the right place. Okay. And another thing we want to do is add k plus 1 to the equation here. So that's the highest value is 21. And so if we add 1 to that, we get 22, as, uh, as shown in the chapter of our, of our uh, exercise. So we're going to go ahead and make this new R income 4 variable using the square root function of a centered version of R income 3. Okay, we'll click OK there. And you see this is the only thing that results from a transformation, a little bit of syntax. Again, if we look at the data, we'll see that R income 4 has been created. All right, and there's the values. And if we wanted to, at this point, we could redo the <coughs> the uh, Analyze Descriptive Statistics Explore feature again and make sure that we have achieved normality based on the same kind of things we looked at last time.